Representative Maloney. LR 2435, an act to establish a veteran court. Uh, thank you. I'm passing around a copy of my testimony, a copy of the revised proposed legislation, and pages showing all of the groups that support this bill. Uh, studies have shown that combat service often extracts a tremendous psychological toll on members of the military who are faced with the constant threat of death or injury while overseas for an extended period of time. While the vast majority of returning members of the military do not have contact with the criminal justice system and are well-adjusted contributing members of society, psychiatrists and law enforcement officials agree that combat-related injuries have led to instances of criminality. As a grateful state, we must continue to honor military service members by providing them with an alternative to incarceration. Proper treatment for mental health and substance abuse problems resulting from military service. This is an emergency because veterans are returning from Afghanistan and Iraq every day and need our help to adjust back to society. Every day this legislation is delayed is another day a veteran is treated like a criminal instead of a hero. I apologize because earlier I thought this legislation would require an appropriation of state money. I was wrong. Chief Justice Sopley is already starting a veterans treatment court in Augusta. TOGAS will pay for a veterans health administer, administrator to attend the court, and volunteer veteran mentors will assist the veterans. With the passage of this bill, all involved in the veterans treatment court can attend a free national training twice a year. Matt Steiner, the Director of Development and Outreach, tells me that passage of this legislation will enable Maine to qualify for federal grants. And I'm also here with Representative David Cotta, who also fully supports this legislation, and he's happy to speak if you'd like him to. Thank you. 